Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my channel Cooking with Yusuf. Today we're going to make another Persian authentic Iranian food called Fesenjun. The Fesenjun is made with the walnut and pomegranate molasses. I'm going to show you what's the ingredients and how to put them together to make Fesenjun. The Fesenjun is made almost everywhere in our country, especially north of Iran, which they grow walnut and pomegranate, but still they make it all over. They have a little bit different place to place and they have made it in their own way, but it's not that much. It depends on the taste of being sweet or sour or sweet and sour and using it either chicken or meatball or some of the wild animal meat like a, especially birds on the north of Iran and like a dog and goose and even turkey so today what I'm going to make is with the chicken and we are going to over the ingredients and show you how to make it you have a chicken here it's a chicken breast it's about like a half a pound and few of chicken leg. I cut the chicken to smaller pieces and uh, but you can use whatever the parts that you want. You can use any parts of chicken or, or, or just the breast or leg is up to you. And I do have a, a walnut It's about like a 500 gram, a little bit over the pound. Um, gonna be grinded with this machine and uh, pomegranate molasses it's one cup is not very sweet it's not sour either that's why I have three spoon of brown sugar which I'm gonna add it to make it sweeter because my family likes the sweet and some liquid saffron which uh, we're gonna use in two different time and one in the middle one at the end of the cooking and not too much of the spices half of a teaspoon uh, turmeric half a teaspoon black pepper half a teaspoon salt little bit of cooking oil i have two onion one is going to be grinded with the walnut the other one i have to dice it and very small and saute with the chicken let's go and start grinding the, our walnut So we grind our uh, walnut with one onion and the other onion we're gonna to dice that and uh, which prepare for sauteing with the chicken and as I said you know dice it as small as you can and that's the way that I'm doing it. It's going to be very fine. Try to, as you see, so small. Okay. So we, we do this and finish this. We're going over the st uh, stove top and we start cooking our food. Just a very little oil because the walnut has a lots of oil itself and so we're trying to uh, use as little as we can it's the time you know as you see it's the sizzling is the time to add the chicken to it and saute the chicken also for a few minutes and here is the difference that I said, you know, some people, they don't even do that. They don't even saute, they all put together. Some people saute chicken and put a separate, then saute walnut separate, then add them together. But what I'm gonna do is just 
saute everything is together one after another then you know we go on Okay, it's been like a five six minutes to been starting the saute these I think is a time to add the spices which is a turmeric black pepper and salt so just let it saute another couple more minutes with this and then we add the walnut and saute that for another five six minutes then we're gonna add the water and let it cook for maybe 30 to 40 minutes then we check on that one and I that might be the time we had to add the pomegranate molasses So we're gonna uh, saute this also another uh, four to five more minutes. Then, as I said, you know, we add the water. Okay, at this time we add uh, about like a five uh, cups of water, and then we look at it if it's needed more we have to add it so we just put it in little by little to make sure that is not too much you should be covering the whole thing and uh, it seems is enough five cups of water and uh, make sure that it's going to be mixed together okay this is also the time that I'm going to add half of the saffron that I made already the liquid saffron okay and the other half we after we, the, the food is going to be ready you know 10 15 minutes before finished we add there half of that so as soon as they start boiling we're gonna we should reduce the heat to the very low and let it uh, boil and cook for as i said 30 to 40 minutes then we check on the food and we add the uh, pomegranate molasses start boiling so as you see the heat is is high here i'm gonna low the heat to almost very low and just let it cook for 30 40 minutes to come back okay it's been about 40 minutes that is cooking if you look at it it's uh, the walnut oil is coming out which is wonderful don't be scared of it is has too many fat these are actually is a good fat and is good for your heart vein and is full of Omega-3 is even better than salmon. So don't worry about it. Eat them. Okay. Now it's a time to add the pomegranate molasses. And uh, the longer it cooks, it gets darker. So we're going to test maybe in about 10 minutes from now to see if it really needs the sugar and how much sugar it needs if you like to add on it otherwise if you like the taste you don't have to add the sugar so here you see the color is going to change and as the time pass it's going to get darker and darker so this is what it makes the huge difference if you have a good pomegranate molasses now I'm gonna leave this alone 
as I said, in 10 minutes, I'm going to check on that and taste it. But uh, overall, we have to leave it there for another maybe 40 minutes or so and to see if we need to add anything else as far as the taste, either more molasses or sugar. Other than that, if it gets dark enough, it's, it's done. Okay, at this time also, we're gonna leave it here as soon as it start boiling again. We even reduced the heat lower because it might, you know, uh, stuck on the bottom. So, and occasionally it can come and turn around. It's been 10 minutes. Let's taste to see what it needs. It is great, but to my taste, it needs a little bit of the molasses for the better taste and a color and some sugar for sweetness because as I said, we love to be sweet. So I'm gonna add the sugar and it's about maybe a quarter of the cup more molasses. And then we wait for another 30 minutes and come back to see if it's done or not. Which I think is gonna be done in 30 to 40 more minutes. You see the colors change a little bit. And I'm sure the taste also is gonna be a little bit sweeter. Absolutely fantastic. Let it cook another 35, 40 minutes. Then we're gonna be having a dinner. Uh, just before we serve, it uh, seems it's all done. I add the, the little bit of the saffron to it. And then we are going to serve. It looks beautiful, fantastic. That's what it should be. Look at this. This is our fish engine. Okay, everybody, we all done. This is our fish engine. That's the way that I want it to be. It looks wonderful, tastes delicious. They, like every other uh, Persian stew, we eat this with the rice. And there is some tadic that it, it's also is pretty good if you put some of the stew on the top of it like this. And you can eat it, you know, with the different salad, your choice of salad or salad shirazi. And Iranian, they usually eat this with the Persian herbs, sabzi khordan, or pickle, tarshi, which I have some here, my own mate, tarshi with the six, seven different vegetable in it and uh, thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your support until next time thank you again bye now